All right, I know you may be thinking, you know, this looks horrible. Yes, it looks like a mop on this mannequin's head, and I, I started calling it the mop top haircut, and so it's clearly searched uh, on Google quite a bit, mop top, because I, I started to use that phrase for this haircut, you know, many, many months ago when people started asking for something like this. So I'm like, looks like a mop top to me. So this is the mop top haircut. And if you don't like it and you think it looks awful, then good for you. That's your opinion. We all have opinions. Some people think my hair looks ridiculous. Some people think, you know, a mohawk looks ridiculous. What your opinion is your opinion. But I see plenty of people, okay? I'm talking influencers, people on, you know, TikTok, whatever it is that have haircuts like this or did at some point and people seem to love it. So basically the key to this haircut is establishing a perimeter, right? Or establishing the length. So for this particular haircut, you can see, and this is fully dry. This is a straight haired mannequin. I was able to create the waves in it, which I'll go over in a second, basically by layering the hair and using my tidal wave and the diffuser when I'm styling it. So the mop top really, it depends on how long you want it, but it looks like a mop is on your head because there's some length in the front. And then this is all angled in a rounded type of shape going all the way down into the bottom like so. So it's very, very rounded, a little bit longer throughout the back here, but basically it's, it's all connected going in this way. All right. It could be a little shorter here, maybe slightly disconnected if you want it like a more of a harsh cutoff, but the, the haircut is cut in a rounded type of shape and angle like that. I would suggest going straight across this way and then start the angling right around the cheekbone area. So once you have that established, then what you need to do is if your hair is very long, you're going to have a whole bunch of hair down through here. You need to start layering this. Okay. And the way you do this is you start pulling it out straight from the head and cutting it out to the desired length that you want. This in, in, uh, from when I cut this, I think it's about two and a half to three inches long in through here. And then it gets gradually longer where this is probably at least maybe seven inches or so. And it works all the way to the very, very top where the top is, pretty much all the same length in through here. Okay. It's all a very, very connected and blended haircut. And then what's the key to this, like I mentioned before, it looks like all oh, the hair is wavy. It's not wavy. It's perfectly straight, but by cutting the layers in the hair, which I've done hundreds of videos on cutting layers, literally it's holding everything straight up like this and created a creating a shape where all of the weight is removed so that it follows the roundness of the head. And you can see this piece right here, you see where it's falling. So when you let go of this or you scrunch it or style it and all of this into here, what's going to happen, it's going to look like all of this is curly or wavy, but it's all really blended together. And I don't want to mess it up too much because this is what happens. If you start to mess with wavy hair or curly hair, it becomes this, a frizz ball. It looks awful. So, the key to this also, like I mentioned before, is using my Tidal Wave spray, which is my sea salt spray. You spray it on while the hair is damp. And then the key is when you're using my blow dryer, it comes with, it literally comes with a regular nozzle and this diffuser. It's a magnetic attachment. What you want to do is you literally scrunch it into place while the hair is damp with the Tidal Wave in it, even 25 spray, scrunch it while it's damp so you can set it in place. Then with the blow dryer here with it has, you have to use this diffuser. Okay. Or else it's going to blow the hair all over the place. So what this does is it diffuses the air and the heat. So it's really just concentrating on this area into here and not blow drying the hair all over the place. It's kind of, kind of uh, restricting the airflow in a bit. So it's actually drying it, but it's keeping the shape to it. And what this does is it allows the hair to spring up like this. All right. And it makes the hair look curlier and wavier, even if your hair is straight. All right. So if you want this type of haircut, you know, everyone always asks, what do I set at my barber? What do I say? I wouldn't go to a barber for this haircut. First of all, unless that that person is very familiar with cutting longer hair, doing layered shapes, they're spending at least an hour on a haircut, 45 minutes to an hour, and they're not charging you $15. Okay. You, this is a really, really complex haircut that you need someone who understands cutting shapes into haircuts. So maybe you probably want to go to a hairstylist for this, but also research the stylist just because they're a hairstylist doesn't mean that they can do this either. I've seen, I've seen stylists of 20 something years butcher these types of haircuts. So just find somebody who knows how to cut hair 
<clears throat> with this style. I've seen actually quite one particular barbershop in New Jersey who does a lot of these types of TikToker hairstyles, and I was very, very impressed by them. Um, but there's more and more people learning how to do these things, so which is awesome. But all you have to do is just show a picture, take a screenshot of this, show it to them. And if your hair isn't long enough for this, just keep letting it grow. You may have to wear it back uh, for the time being, but once it gets to down about right here, you're pretty much ready. But you also have to be comfortable with having hair in your face. That's why it's called the mop top. So you'll get accustomed to it if you want this hairstyle. It's, it's totally fine. If you do want to purchase any of my products, use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20 at shop.theslongguy.com.